Cecilia, first one in the room. The little moderate drizzle has passed. Buenvenue, Nebul. Buenvenue. Welcome to Lower Manhattan. Welcome to the South Street Seaports. Good to see you, Meg. Welcome. Welcome. Ready for our little art walk? We've got lots of art to check out. Ooh, and I see two of my pieces right here. Yes. Lots of cool art to see. We're, we will be seeing a piece by Yoko Ono. Yes. Two people tune in and then tune right out. I guess these are the two people who give me the thumbs down on my video. <laughs> I guess those are the, the people who give me the thumbs down on the videos. Well, welcome. Yeah, we got some cool art here that we're going to check out right now. We will end inside of the Oculus. Good to see Lorenzo out there in Texas. We got some pretty cool art experiences that we'll be seeing. Good to see a phantom. Look at this thing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might remember this from a cup from last week. Cool little it's a cool little art piece here. What is this called again? Seascape Sculptures by Wade and Lita. Oh, no. We haven't got to the incredible stuff yet, Meg. We have not got to the incredible stuff just yet. Because when we get into the Oculus, there's going to be a gigantic lantern. A gigantic rainbow lantern inside of the Oculus. And the, um, the Yoko Ono piece is quite in impressive also. I just, I just gandered at it. These are kind of cool. They're made out of wood, it looks like. They're made out of wood. But let's go across the street because these guys were turned on yesterday. See those beams of light over there? We're going to go over there to where those beams of light are. As the crazy tractor trailer goes back again. They're playing, they're playing truck simulator. They're playing American truck simulator. Nah, no, it, was not, it was not a nice day. It's been drizzling off and on. It's really humid out here. I don't like it, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, let me, let me block that. That's not my company. Look, he's playing truck sim. Oh, share on Twitter. Share on Twitter. This is fun. He's playing truck sim. He's playing the truck simulator. I like how... New Yorkers just go about their business regardless of a of an 18-wheeler. He's gonna go forward again. Look at this thing. Bringing some major major equipment. Oh yeah, wait wait until you see what's inside the Oculus, Meg. That was unveiled yesterday also. A lot of the art was unveiled the last couple of days, so I wanna be one of the first to get it, if not the first to get it, here in the live stream. <laughs> it's the 18 wheeler, the experience, experience here at South Street Seaport. All right, let's make our way onto Pier 17. Let's make our way out onto Pier 17. Some really cool mural over here, it looks like. Blocking the construction zone here. But more importantly, we're going out onto the pier. This is where the, the boozy Ber Burger Bell boozy tree was right over here. And look at these things. This thing is kind of cool. So here we are, all new, brand new, Pier 17. This is gonna be the headquarters for the Macy's Fireworks Spectacular on uh, July 4th. I believe Sierra, amongst many others, will be performing on the rooftop 
of this building. And if you have tickets to be on this rooftop, oh my God, you're in for a treat. They're gonna be firing fireworks from the Brooklyn Bridge and the East River on 4th of July. It's gonna be kind of amazing. But let's check out this art. Let's check out our official, our, our second piece. And I could walk through this. Yeah, I could walk through this. I could walk through this thing here. I think I could touch them, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, this is the Nautilus, a public art installation from Lincoln and Atlantic, Rethink, created by renowned New York City-based studio uh, Soft Lab, inspired by the human-centered design of this namesake, the 2019 ugly car will put in control into its hands and as you engage with it. We are the center of this artwork. To activate the Nautilus, grasp the center of the poles that are equipped with sensors. Okay, and we we're gonna create our own symphony with light and sound. All right, let's see this thing here. Ooh, it, or it's down here, it's down here. I got to, we gotta touch the, we gotta, ooh, look at, the, ooh, it's doing like little. Very, ah, good to see a free to laugh now. This thing is cool. I don't know how, I don't know how I'm creating a symphony now. Oh look there! Oh, it does it, it. Ba 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 ba. See, you hear it? Ba ba ba. Oh, this is cool. As I break, did I just break it? I just broke it, folks. I just broke it. <laughs> they gotta fix it. I just broke it. Ba ba ba. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see how it works. Where's the guy who runs this art piece? I broke it. <laughs> My foot went right through that. You hear it? It's 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 keeping the the beat of my of my tone here. Let's try it again. Let's go. Ba 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 ba. You hear it? You hear it? Oh, this is neat. It's going, it's, it's keeping my beat. This is really neat. It's keeping my beat. Let's do it again. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, I can't do old McDonald had a farm, sorry. Hey, it can't take me anywhere, I destroy the art. Oh, this is this is cool. E I E I O. It's doing it. <laughs> Can you hear it, guys? You could hear it, right? Yeah, I really did break it, yeah. It's really remembering my beat. This is so neat. It's remembering my beat. It's so neat. Right, you can hear it, right? That's neat. All right. Well. Brought to you by the Lincoln, the new Lincoln Nautilus, which is parked right over there somewhere where you could actually uh, take it for a test drive. Let's do one more. Let's go. Uh... Yeah, it's really doing it. That's cool. Right here, as we get the circle line, this is the East River, downtown Brooklyn, right over there. That's cool. Right in front of the Ambrose. And here's my mark. We broke it. My, how do, I don't know how my foot fell through that. No, my phone does not like the LEDs, Jim, but, but you, you, you can still get an idea of how it works. Good to see you, Jim. 
ba 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 ba. Hey, there it goes. It takes like a second to activate. That's cool. That's cool. And I broke it, so we keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. You can take a Lincoln Nautilus for a test drive. You know, con contribute to the city's uh, parking issues and, and climate issues. Right, don't you love the backdrop? Well, this is, this is South Street Seaport, so this is where New York begins. This is where all the goods of the city come through roughly just after the Dutch period, right through the British era. Yeah, broke, we broke it live, Jim. We broke it on the live stream. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> all right. And there's a prerequisite shot of the Lincoln Nautilus. Do you want to get stuck in traffic? Then grab yourself a Lincoln Nautilus today. All right, let's make our way over. Now it's time to see the Yoko Ono piece. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to break the Yoko Ono piece. But it is interactive. Just like the light poles. It is interactive. Yeah, these ships are always here. This is the Waver Tree. This is from 1885. And then this is the uh, Ambrose here. From, I believe, 1908. Right? Yeah, 1908. And the Ambrose has been here since as long as I can remember. There was another ship right here from Liverpool that I'm blanking on the name of. But the Waver Tree came in its place. And this mural over here is freaking awesome. So let's check out this mural here before we check out the Yoko Ono piece. But come on down to the South Street Seaport. I recommend the South Street I recommend just downtown in general. Better food options. Better bang for your buck. Art. You could explore. You could wander around. You could see really cool art like this. I love this. This is really cool. Yes, you can take tours of the ships. But right now, the Ambrose and the uh, Waver Tree are closed. This is freaking amazing. Oh, they're not even done yet. They still got, they still got tape up on this thing here. Absolutely gorgeous. Good to see you, Blondie. Welcome. Don't you love the seaport? Me too. Got some very prominent people here. I gotta be careful because I don't know if this truck, is this truck, is this truck done backing up? Okay. Right, those are like flat out, wow, you can see the picture and then, and then the artist's work. Wow. That's cool. And we end it with butterflies. This is, Absolutely fantastic work. I absolutely love it. All right. I love checking out all this art. You know, with the purple highway, the purple rainway. I just got to tell you guys, I love this. Thank you. This is fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> uh, see, after, after a day's work, this is my reward. I get to see cool art. Wander around. Let me give myself some World's Fair feet right now. And walk around. Let's go, let's go say hello to Yoko Ono's piece. So Yoko Ono's piece brings awareness to the uh, refugee the refugee issues that we're having as of late. Good to see you, 80s music fan. Welcome. Let's make our way back into the seaport and if you ever watch ESPN their new studios are right up there the, the ESPN rock and roll studios so now we got to go up old Fulton well Fulton Street here and the fun part about Fulton Street is that this actually does continue on on the Brooklyn side because back in the day this is where the ferry used to dock when Robert Fulton inaugurated regular steam ferry service uh, from this area of lower Manhattan to uh, his landing, Brooklyn Landing, soon to be called Fulton Ferry Landing. These two streets literally complement each other. Pretty cool art, right? And we see the seascape 
Seascape sculptures by Wade and Lita again. We'll walk right through them. And then we're gonna, we're gonna turn the corner here. And now we're gonna go over here to Front Street. Next to Big Gay Ice Cream is down the block over here. Which, by the way, Big Gay Ice Cream, it's really good ice cream. There it is. Big Gay Ice Cream's right over there. But this, here's the piece by Yoko Ono. This is part of the River to River Festival. But let's go inside. It's called Add Color. I don't know if people realize they could go inside. I wanna, everyone's just hanging out by the door. Good to see you, good to see you Wilbs. Flying to the Sunshine State tomorrow, awesome. Dorothy is fabulous, okay. <laughs> I would like to go in, but as you see, everyone's just milling around the door here. Oh, wow. This is cool. This is cool. Wow. Wow. Like a message everywhere you look. Well, some of this paint is definitely, some of this paint is definitely still wet. Oh, I like this, I like this message. It's an ice cream shop from the Golden Girls? Okay. Wow. This is really cool. Ooh, we have a message here from Yoko. Wow, you could... And anyone could be here and paint this. Well, good to see you, Cheryl. Wow. This is very this is very powerful, I have to say. There's room for all. <laughs> Absolutely, Wilbs. Here you go, somebody, somebody beat you to the punch already right now. <laughs> wow. This is insane. I love this. This is really, really cool. We're going to have to come back here and see how this, how this manifests. This is going to be here until the 29th of June. So we're going to have to come back. We're going to have to come back and see that and see that, see that grow. <laughs> Let's continue on. The, the, the smell of paint in there is pretty strong. And I have a bunch of blue paint now on the bottom of my sneaker. <laughs> but it's worth it. Okay, we're going to have to come back here before that thing closes up on the 29th. So we'll, we'll be back here next week. We'll come back here and uh, see how it evolves. I guess people didn't understand that you could actually go in there and walk around. But we're going to make our way now up to the up to the World Trade Center, and we're going to see our final piece of art down. Actually, no, it's an other piece of art right over here, which we'll check out for a second here. A classic piece of art, but from I believe the '80s. 
I did leave. I, I left a few footprints. I left a few footprints and I'm still leaving footprints. <laughs> it was something I stepped on. It was, it was painting a, a waves and I think I, it was really, really fresh. So I got blue paint all over my shoes, but it's okay. It's the bottom of my shoes. not going to hurt anything. Well, let's say hello to uh, the, uh, the, the calendar here. So this guy here, this building that this, that this art piece is on is really old. It's from the 1880s. And it's one of those quirky buildings that because of air rights and all that, because you got a lot of, a lot of sunlight to the ground, these buildings survived miraculously. But it does not function as a calendar anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, no, actually, no, let me see, it's three o'clock. So, it might be, it might be still functioning as a clock. Today is definitely not, oh, it's 28 past the hour. Yeah, 328, okay, it turned into a clock now. This used to be a calendar, but now it's a clock. Good to see you, Robert. Look, I'm gonna show you how to read it. Let me show you how to read it. And it's accurate, it is accurate, holy cow. All right, so it's 329, right? So the red, as you see, a number three, and then the 29 stays lit, and then this cycling, those are the seconds, and it goes up to 59 seconds. So let's, change, let's, let's see it change to 30. Let's see it change to 30, because it's about to do it. And this thing's been here like since like forever. I think there's a sign for it across the street there, so we'll read the sign. Now watch, it's gonna change to 3.30. Boom, it's 3.30. And it's very accurate, wow. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> right on top of a Starbucks. You always know what time it is at this Starbucks. Got no choice. You got no choice. But you see how old, these buildings are really old. One of these was like a horse stable at one point. Well, let me go across the street and read the sign. I want to say it's from the 80s, but it might be as old as from the 70s. So, but it's whenever they built this building right here, whenever they built this one, they put this art piece in. Good to see you, my dog, Indy. Welcome. All right. Let's slowly neander up to, uh, up to uh, World Trade. Let's see the, uh, what is the name of this thing and how old is it? Oh, nice. No information on it. <laughs> Let's see, is there information out here in the front somewhere? If not, I'm gonna have to look it up at home. Yep, there's no information, there's no information on this thing. Wow. Well, I know when they were building this building here, they put this art piece here, and now it's a clock. It used to be a, uh, used to be a calendar. It's on your bucket list. You gotta come downtown. If you come to New York, you gotta come downtown. Got no choice but to come downtown. And, oh man, that coffee smells good. Let me hold off though. I never saw that before. It's been here for a while. It's been here for a while. But now we're gonna go up to the World Trade Center. Because inside the World Trade Center, there's a gigantic lantern that we have to see. This is only going to be there for, I believe, 10 more days. It was unveiled yesterday. I have a feeling those kids stole those city bikes. They're riding them like they stole them. Ah, uh, you left back in 1974? Yeah. Might not, might not have been here in 74. Digital clock created by, oh, there you go, by, by Rudolf de Hanek. It is a digital clock, okay. I could have swore it was a uh, calendar, but okay. A digital clock, there you go. And what year? I want to say 82, 1982. 
And look, the World Trade Center. Probably can't see it. It's lost in the clouds. Very low clouds all day today. Very humid out here. Kind of, kind of want to just go home because uh, it's so clammy out here. I hate it when it's like this. As we walk up John Street. Leaving a trail of blue paint as I walk up the street. This is great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was like waiting. Yeah, right. Isn't that crazy, Jim? I just had pizza, my dog, Andy. He just ate pizza. We're not going to do any eating on this uh, live stream today. Yeah, are there any Johns on John Street? No. But one block over on Fulton, there's, there's Joe's Pizza, which that's what I just had. Had a slice from Joe's just now because I went to my favorite favorite pizza place, the uh, Pronto Pronto Pizza over there in Fulton. And there were some tourists who didn't know how to order pizza, which was incredibly frustrating. Waiting there over six minutes. And they're like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many slices are in a pie. Are we gonna eat the whole pie? I remember Joe's? Yeah, Nebul went to Joe's. That's right. Nebul went to Joe's. It's good stuff. Actually ended up having better pizza, you know. Bloody hell, it's hot out here. Ugh. <laughs> All right. On to William Street we are. We keep on going. I think everyone's getting out of work now. It's 3.30. This is when all the offices begin to let out and everyone has made their money for the day. Yes, you yeah, no need to graduate to order pizza, exactly. Now, these people were like so indecisive and it drives, you know, it, you want to drive a New Yorker nuts? Be indecisive. Be, I don't, you know, be, oh, bloody hell, that was fucking loud. Uh, um, Ray's, there's many Ray's. What are we talking about? Ray's, Ray's original, Ray's famous, Ray Bari. There's a lot of Ray's. <laughs> So you gotta be specific. Famous original Rays, famous Rays original. <laughs> These are all different Rays. Okay. Yeah, I know my, my ears are totally ringing right now. That thing was really loud. Connie's, never heard of Connie's. Is that, is that a pizza place in Huntington Beach, California? Pizza rat, ha 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 ha! Come see the Coney, uh, come see the Brooklyn. Uh, sorry, come see the Staten Island Yankees become the Staten Island Pizza Rats. I believe in August they'll be playing as the Pizza Rats for a weekend. That's right, Nibble. Now you're talking, Wilbs Defara. Now you're talking. New York Times called Defara two years ago one of the quite possibly, excuse me, quite quite quite. Blah, blah, blah. Quite possibly one of the best pizzas in the world. As we're now on Nassau Street. Oh, and Sheep's said Connie's is in Sheep's Head Bay. Ah. Jim, you ever heard of Connie's? Let's go to J and V on 18th Avenue and get a JoJo roll. I'm in the mood for a JoJo roll right now. Usually when I go to Sheepshead Bay, I'm going to Randanzo's. Hells yeah. Ah, oh, so Connie's is still around. When Jim says a hell yeah, because Jim is a, 
our resident foodie. All right? Nostra Avenue. Yeah. Or a rice bowl from Joe's. There you go. <laughs> Once again, we're talking about food. Once again, we're talking about food on the live stream. <laughs> when do we not talk about food on these live streams? Like you got, you got to get snacks available when you. Ah, thirty-eight forty-five Nostrand. Gotta have to check out that plate. I gotta have to check it out. I never heard of Connie's, nor has anyone given me uh, requests to go to Connie's on the pizza tour. All right, as we're on John Street right now, and we're gonna continue on. Yeah, Jojo Roll is amazing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's so good. It's like a meal, a Jojo Roll. I could totally go for a Jojo Roll right now. Of course I've tried Chicago-style uh, pizza. We have Pizzeria Uno's. <laughs> Even though Uno's is probably a bad excuse for uh, Chicago-style pizza. Aye, uh, Lundy's is kind of still around. It's like it's the, the restaurant's been like cut in like three quarters, th th three parts, and there's also a sushi place inside of there. And look, it's Broadway. So, but Lundy's is kind of still around. Not as big as it used to be. It used to be a massive restaurant back in the day. Oh, Lundy's is just a building. That's right. Lundy's is just a building. So yeah, it's gone. No more Lundy's, but the building is still there. Like I said, Jim, the, our resident foodie. As we make our way, you can see, just see the Oculus coming into view. And then Century 21, right across the street here. Whenever I gotta get dress shirts over here, look all good, I gotta go over here to uh, Century 21's. Oh yeah, Jojo Roll is delicious. A Jojo Roll is delicious. Oh my God, I could go for a Jojo Roll right now. Okay. Good to see you, Griff. Oh, it's the guy. It's the guy. We just walked past the guy who panhandles out here and he lives in an apartment. He lives in a multi-million dollar apartment. <laughs> yes, Randanza used to get cherry stone clams outside on the bar. That sounds good. Yeah, let's go to Randanzo's, get some clams. All right. Here we are, World Trade Center. It's like it's snowing out here. Where, where did, what is this white stuff coming from the sky here? It's like snow. Bloody hell. As everyone's looking up. It's like these fat white things falling from the sky right now. And it feels like snow. Look, can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? That's like styrofoam. Yeah, that's, sty that's no, it's wet. It's wet. It's like soap. No, I wish it was ticker tape. Yeah, so many people just doing their own thing. Yeah, it's soap. They're cleaning windows somewhere. And the soap is coming down. Look at that. Wow. Wow. It's snowing. It's like that fake snow in Disney World that's really soap. All right. Here we are. Here we are in the plaza. We could see the uh, Jenga building right there. It's art. That's right, Jim. It's art. And we cannot see the top of number one World Trade Center. But let's go into the Oculus. And you're going to see something really cool. A big, gigantic, inflatable lantern. And luckily, since it's cloudy, it lights up. And we should be able to see it all lit up. I always forget how heavy these doors are. All right. And I will be using the subway station from here, so 
I'll be the 60% of people who actually use, it, use this as a train station. The other 40% come here and just take pictures. Into the Oculus we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Holy cow. So at night, this thing lights up, but this area is only open until 8 o'clock. Yes, forget the price, exactly. Okay. Well, we, got a, we got a tour guide here doing her job. Got a tour guide doing her job. This is fantastic. Yeah, let's, get, let's get down to the street level here, or the underground level here. Yeah, it's only open until 8 now, Jim. That's what they say for the art piece, anyway. I mean, I, th I thought the Oculus was open until 10. But, well, you know, it, 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 just take the subway from here, though. <laughs> take a picture, but ride the subway. Ride the subway. I love this place, too. All right. All right, one more level. One more level, and then up here, we're next to the R train entrance. This is this is where that original piece of the World Trade Center is, right up there. One more level, and then we're gonna experience this lantern thingy here. Yeah, come, either leave or arrive here via the subway, and you can even use the Fulton Street access way. That still counts as using this as a as a subway station. Down the grand staircase. Ooh, lots of photographers out here I see. I'm telling you, we're, we're coming up to a couple of years now. This place has been open. And uh, they're doing a great job keeping the marble clean. So let's see, what is the name of this thing here? Do I, gotta get, I gotta get up. Oh yeah, that's right. It's called uh, Live, Live, or Live Love. Live Love. Live Love. Let's do our, our favorite shot here. Let's stand inside the electrical box and get the shot. Here we go, the perfect symmetrical shot. There it is. And you could just barely see number one World Trade Center. It was $4 billion, my dog, Indy. $4 billion. Forget about the price. But remember, this is a very complicated construction site. Ooh. I like this. Please take pictures. Please take pictures. Just don't touch the art. So it's a big inflatable live for love. A big inflatable piece of art. This is really neat. A celebration of love. Wow. This thing is cool. This thing at night all lit up probably probably looks amazing. And then of course over this direction here, your path train. Here are the artists. I can spot keys. This is three stories tall. Wow, it's almost as tall as my apartment building. Yeah, there is a unicorn somewhere in there. We got a unicorn. Oh, no. We got a unicorn. I see. We got the butterflies. Hey, let's, we will take the path to Hoboken one of these days. Absolutely. Let's see what else we could see in this thing. I 
That's really neat. So these are the, oh, these are the key symbols. So these are the key symbols. Repression, adversity, freedom, diversity, love, and of course, inclusion. I want to say it was a kind of like a unicorn, but... Uh, yes, there's an original piece of the World Trade Center in here. This is kind of like a big, gigantic toy. Kind of looks like a unicorn, but it's not a unicorn. Just some wings up there. I want to come out here at night now and see this thing all lit up. Uh, and somebody touched the art. Let's go underneath it. Yeah, it is colorful. Yay. Well. Let's get one last shot of this and then we'll walk, uh, we'll walk through the original World Trade Center. And we'll hop on the train. Let's get one last shot. Pretty neat, huh? Yay! All right, let's go home. <laughs> I'm tired. Let's go home. I'll see you later. Yeah, Jim, I won't be stopping by, but I'm getting everything. Uh, I'm getting all the ingredients for the cake procured. So, uh, yeah. I should be seeing you tomorrow, Jim. If not tomorrow, Friday. Definitely Friday, because it's fireworks Friday. I'll have my whole big get up by Friday. Oh, I forgot. One more piece. One more piece of kind of art to show you guys. One more piece of kind of art to show you. Yeah, Oc Oculus Cathedral, that's right. So they do have a model of the whole new, the brand new LaGuardia Airport. <laughs> Here is the new LaGuardia Airport because after all, this is a Port Authority venture. This is what the new LaGuardia Airport would eventually look like, which is very well, very much under construction. What's amazing about this new LaGuardia Airport is that they have taxiways that go underneath these, these uh, bridges here. And for anyone who plays uh, X-Plane 11, this terminal is already created. I'll let you know, my dog in the, I'll let you know. You have a great day too. But this is the new LaGuardia Airport. You see how close the neighborhood comes to LaGuardia. All right, we gotta, we gotta keep moving. People want a free tour. Let's say goodbye to the piece of art and the Oculus. Good to see you, Chris. We're just beginning to wrap it up now. Because uh, people are beginning to... Let me... I got to keep moving here. People are following me around. They're going to give a tour. Great. If they follow me up the steps here, I'm going to turn around and get angry. Okay. They don't want to go up the escalator. So we just saw all of our little art pieces... Now we're gonna see a piece of the original World Trade Center embedded in the new Oculus here. Yeah, send me a picture there, Nibble. All right, so now as we go up this entrance right here, this is the entrance that takes us into the E subway station entrance. And now, remember that all the infrastructure, all the, the train lines that, that, that come through here, these are still in their original spots as they were before September 11th. But as we make our way up into this concourse here, this is a bit of the original World Trade Center embedded inside of the Oculus.
Look at there's the threshold. Boom. We're in 1973 New York. Right here. Welcome to 1973 New York. And then of course we have our, our door with markings on it. This was a dangerous area beyond here, September 13th. And they gotta really fix this sign. It's getting torn up. But now, Let's do something that we used to not be able to do, and that's transfer from the E to the R train. We're going to go through a little corridor here, which never existed until now, until after September 11th. A little dead spot right there. Looks like a little dead spot right there. And look, ta da! We're in the Cortland Street R train station. Just like that. And let's walk to the front of the train. Because that's where I'm getting out. God, it's hot in here. And look, you can see the Oculus right through here. Wow, it wasn't this fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. Always a, always a pleasure to show you guys the best of New York. All the new art that doesn't last very long. I love showing you guys all this art that doesn't last very long. Let's get near the front of the train here. You're more than welcome, Lorenzo. You're more than welcome, Phantom, Nebul. Food and art, that's right, Wilbs. Food and art. Food and art. We always get food and arts. I will see you later, Wilbs. Be be safe out there, out there driving the Northern Line. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that, Chris. Good to see you. Good to see you, Robert. Thanks for tuning on in. Chris, everyone follow Chris MG. She's a fantastic YouTuber out there in Grenada. Everyone follow Free to Laugh now. He's a fantastic YouTuber out there in San Francisco. Most importantly, everyone follow Nebul. Nebul is a fantastic YouTuber out there in the south of France. Everyone follow Joey Brooklyn. Joey BKLYN. Give him a follow. Give Duty Ron a follow. Ah, I enjoyed it too. We're gonna have to go back to that Yoko Ono piece and see how see how it evolves over the next few weeks. So no, I'm not talking to you, sorry. <laughs> These people think I'm talking to them. Alright guys. We didn't have this problem in the 368 because everyone knows what live streaming is. I think people were afraid of me live streaming yesterday in the 368. But anyway, ah, it wouldn't be a live stream and people thought I wasn't talking to them. All right, guys. I hear my train coming. It's rolling around the bend. Have a great New York day, folks. Have a what? A los spookies? A los spookies? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, I'm, you're not that important. I'm not talking to you. All right, guys. Ooh, it's hot down here. Always a good time indeed, Will. Stay safe. Everyone stay safe. Please, everyone stay safe. But from Cortland Street, here in Lower Manhattan, this is Dutch Moss signing off. Have a fantastic New York day, whether you live here or not. I want you to hug your loved ones, cherish the moments, and good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. I'll see you guys soon, folks. I'll see you later, Griff. Bye-bye. Yeah. ¿Y los spookies? ¿Y los spookies? ¿Qué? ¿Qué?